Now I'm joined here at Bishop's Gate by the longer town manager of Dara Doyle and, and Dara disappointing to lose 1-0 at home to Cove tonight and it has to be said oh, there's some games where Longford Town have been well beaten but Longford Town scored goals and looked like scoring more goals tonight Longford Town just didn't seem like they were ever going to score tonight Yeah listen I think it was one of those games that possibly looked like one goal would decide it it probably wasn't the best spectacle tonight um, I wouldn't be surprised if that's the game that we played this season with the most, there was probably more free kicks in that game tonight than we've had in two or three games. It was a stop-start game, there was bookings possibly dished out early in the game for, which I felt were very soft free kicks, which I, which I felt were giving more into yellow cards. A couple of them yellow cards that some of the players got will cost us now because of yeah, the five. So the five I, went, I think it puts A and Mick Mac up to... No, Mick is four. Is that, that is okay. Yeah, I'm not sure. But listen, we, we, we'll have a look at that. Um, it's a, it's a, listen, it was a week where we have had a couple of things happen in-house in the week. We've, had, we've obviously had two players miss out tonight because of COVID. And we haven't been able to train in the week. It's not an excuse for the performance, but it obviously doesn't help. Um, when we, when we haven't, I haven't been able to Aaron McNally miss out and Aaron McCabe due to being in close contacts with confirmed cases. So, listen, we're not the only squad. It's, it's hitting the two other squads in the group. We go out there in the game tonight, which... I think if you look at the game, except for us nearly gifting Miguel three minutes into the second half, it probably looks like it could be nil all all over. And we come into that dressing room after the game with a nil all in the points and we're guaranteed playoffs and they have no chance of getting into the playoffs because they obviously needed to win the two games to give themselves any chance and that's how it looked this evening. Yeah, and uh, I, thought, I thought Mick McDonald was very good. Yeah, not only Mick, he, Mick he's, he's been a big play for us. Um, he done well in periods against the front two who caused teams handfuls over the over the last number of weeks. So, yeah, listen, it, it possibly wasn't a great watch from the sideline. Um, it was the stop start game. I mentioned it. There wasn't loads of chances for either side in the game, and one goal decided in the end from I suppose pressure from them on the ball and, and winning the pass back to a keeper when uh, they played straight in with a goal with a ball for a for a good finish from Turner. Yeah, and Wexford, you alluded to that now, we have to go down to Wexford and it's still in our own hands, no, that's always a good thing. No, listen, we, we know that is, we have that game there on Tuesday week, we'll find out what happens, I suppose, this week with Wexford, I believe they have a positive case and a number of close contacts, so what that means, I know the standard is possibly 14 days, that game is, what, 9 or 10 days away, so we don't know the ramifications of what that's going to mean, if, listen, we'll see, we'll prepare, we'll, we'll be in next week ready to play the game and We'd be hopeful that we're let know as early as possible what's going to happen. So um, we'll see that. But you mentioned it's, it's in our hands going out to Wexford, win the game, you're guaranteed your place in the playoffs and possibly, I imagine, a, a minimum of tour position. So Which would be important for home advantage. It would. Second and tour does get, get a home game and, and, and it's important that we want to finish in one of them positions if we can. If we go down and win the game, hopefully that would be the case. But we know UCD obviously are... They go ahead of us now on goal difference, way with a game to play as well. So uh, we'll see what comes down next week. But it's in our hands. We need to go down there and, and win a game and then get ourselves ready for playoffs.